Hi, in the continuing theme of little videos to help you out with the various different lab techniques, uh, today I'm going to introduce you to plating cells. And we're going to plate cells maybe a little different than you might have done in, in microbiology. Um, this is a technique that I just recently learned from another professor here. And we're going to show that, and we're going to plate cells at least twice during the semester. The first time we'll do it will be at, right after doing the E. coli transformation and trying to clone the the oligonucleotides to make the sgRNA sequence. And the second time we're going to be doing it will be with the yeast transformation we actually do the CRISPR experiment. So we'll be doing this twice during the semester and it, you, the technique works the same way both times. What we do is we have an auger plate. This in this case is an LB uh, carb carbacillin plate. So it's a good selection for the E. coli transformation. Uh, this will be an E. coli transformation plating today. Um, it will be on this plate. And we have our trans transformation solution right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, use the pipette, and pipette the, the volume out of the tube. And then I'm going to flip over the plate and I'm going to basically add the whole entire lick contents onto the top of the plate. So we have now the plate with the transformation on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glass beads, sterile glass beads. And ideally what I do is I will three, knock three to four different beads onto the plate. And notice whenever I lift it, I lifted the plate, the lid straight up so I could just dump the beads in. This is to help prevent anything from just falling onto the plate and contaminating the plate. But then after the beads are on the plate, you just kind of wiggle the plate around, should have kind of wiggle around this and, and let the beads just kind of go over the entire surface of the auger. And uh, it's a pretty straightforward little technique. It's pretty easy to do. Um, the nice advantage is that if you use the technique you might have used in microbiology, used a hockey stick, you might have put that in alcohol and then flamed it and had to cool it down and then do this. To me, this technique seems a little bit easier and a little bit more straightforward. Um, and then once you mix it on the plate, the, mix the uh, run the beads all over the plate for a little while, and the plate's starting to look a little bit, a little bit dry because you've spread the liquid around. What you do is you just get your waste beaker and you tilt the beads, get the beads to run off the side, and then you just kind of tap them into the waste beaker. And uh, we, we, we reuse these by putting them in alcohol and re-autoclaving them. But here you go, and then now you just go ahead and write your, your name and the sample ID on your plate and take this over to give it either to me or the TAs, and we'll put it in the incubator, and maybe we'll have you put it in the incubator. I'm not sure right now. So hopefully if you have any questions about the technique, uh, feel free to ask her in class or send me an email. Um, hope, hopefully this was useful. We'll see you later. Bye.